Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Barker Place Crusader Kings 2, right here on Be a Better Game Master. I am Barker, uh, and before we get started, I just want to thank you all again for all the great support and advice. I'm going to jump right in here and, and use some of it right now. I'm going to go to my Intrigue. Excuse me, wrong one. There are two blades, that's why I mix them up. And I'm going to go to look to do see what I can do here. Uh, first, I'm going to invite a noble to court. I'm very much hoping that it's going to be a high uh, a person who's high in intrigue. Now, I'm taking a risk here. I spent like 15 wealth. It's entirely possible he's going to be worthless or she, you know, so it's it's just going to be it's going to we're going to see how it works. Uh, but I am going to hold a feast also because it despite costing 25 gold, uh, I do gain prestige and people will like me more, I believe. And this will help me to. Uh, Oh, all my vessels will be there. I've given orders for the great feast to be hosted in Leon. Let the preparations begin. And that way, my plot power will increase. Once this hits 100%, we will kill my brother. It doesn't matter. He has an heir already, but we're, we're still doing it. We like to raise... So, so seeds of chaos. So, 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 so seeds of chaos. It's early in the morning. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. As always, if you are here for Perfectly Played Crusader Kings 2, you have come to the wrong place. Uh, let's just get started, though, and unpause the game. Let's take a look around. The conjurer produced a rabbit from a hat and then made a handkerchief change color from brown to red, and then he simply vanished from the room, only to knock on the door and open it a few seconds later. You must perform at my feast. Nothing but simple tricks. I, I will all pay extravagantly. Everybody was talking about the musicians, and I finally had some time off from the preparations for my feast so I could see with my own eyes and hear with my own ears what people was talking about. Pfft. The musicians were good, and they were looking for a patron. I could offer them my patronage for ten gold. I think I will. I'm going to make this the greatest feast in all the land. The best part about preparing a feast is deciding what foodstuff to serve. I must serve venison, boar, duck, spices, wine and ale, honey for the desserts, cheeses, and perhaps even a swan or a peacock. Wow. 20 gold. Is it worth it? Yeah, it's worth it. Spend lavishly. Most of the preparations for the feast have been made, and now I only have to send out the invitations, and then I send out the invitations. Dear King Alfonso VI, I thank you for your invitation, but I will not be able to attend your feast. In fact, I refuse to set my foot in the same castle as you, respectfully, Bishop Lope. He's like, I said respectfully, bro. I didn't, it's not mean if I said respectfully. Let's see it. Let's see what this guy, he likes me. That's weird. Sometimes this happens. It's always weird to me. It's like, why won't he step, step in the same castle as me when he likes me? The only thing he doesn't like me is church view on cynical. But I'm also charitable, so that... Okay, well, that's weird. That's fine, no problem. I don't like you either, bro. Don't like you either. Still moving around. Uh, the guests have finally arrived. All is ready. The cooks have worked day and night preparing the food, and the castle has never looked lovelier. Welcome to my feast. We'll zoom out a little bit. Take a look at the world. See how it's going. Ooh, we got England here. That'll be interesting. Oh, Snapperella. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What's going on here? Okay, King William the Conqueror, King of England. Very cool. Queen Matilda of England. Very cool. Well, uh, England is a mess, though. That is a mess. Never seen it like that. I wonder if it'll who will come out on top. I watched from the spy, the, the shadows as my spy master, Kamoa, surreptitiously marked the spot on the wall with a piece of chalk. See, here's the deal. She's your wife, bro. You can trust her. She's your wife. Well, she only likes you 10. Let's spy on the spy. That's what we would do. I'm going to tell myself that. The last of the guests have, has returned home, and everyone agreed it was this year's greatest feast. I had great fun, and so did everyone else. I do gain 10 prestige. Uh, I increase opinion by five years from everyone who enjoyed the, the, or who enjoyed the feast. Or uh, by, uh, Excuse me. I increase opinion by five for two years, uh, and then I can't hold another feast anymore for a while. Over the last week, I've observed my spy master again, really carefully and found nothing to further arouse my suspicion. I have more important things to do. Come on, man. Come on. Don't be paranoid. What are you paranoid for? You are paranoid. That intrigue though. Plot power is still at 71 ish, 70 ish. So, you know, it doesn't really matter. He's already had an error. Do we even still want to do it? I just want to do it just, just to do it. <laughs> Oh my god, no, I can trust her. Come on, man, come on. No. Don't do it again. 
My lord, it seems that King Garcia II of Galicia has finally decided to come out of hiding. Now would be a good time to strike. Let's see. Let, let's see. Let's see. Would it, would it be a good time to strike? No. My plot power hasn't changed at all. Very peculiar. Very. Uh, we are going to go to the diplomatic relations. Just take a look around here. Looks like they're still. My brothers are still at war. Looks it. Looks like this brother is at war with uh, the Hudid, and looks like this brother is at war with the Abadid. Um, I am not at war with anybody. I'm like, nope. Peace out. I don't want it. I don't want that war. But um, I'm gonna need it uh, if I want to. Um, if I want to take over lands. I'm going to need territory, I guess. I don't know. We're going to see. We'll see. We'll see how this works out. It might be very difficult to combine these three provinces, or these three regions, because of the heirs. I just can't see myself not going to war for them, and that's kind of a bummer. That is kind of a bummer. Uh, but that's just kind of the way things are, so... Uh, Cardinal Valentino of Gasquino was given a seat at the College of Cardinals. Congratulations. I should invest in techno technological advance. Um, now I'm going to... What is this? Oh, these are tech points for each. Okay. Uh, I'm going to invest in military organization. Fantastic. I stumbled into, into a courtier eating cookies outside the kitchen. The courtier apologized several times and then offered me a cookie as an, apologize, as, as an apology for being in my path. And the cynic in me got the best of me. I lost myself in cynical comments about how the courtier was trying to poison me with baked goods, probably spoken out loud. I'm sorry, but that cook, cookie looked suspicious. What's going on here? Why is this? Oh. He reacts to the cynical comments. Bishop Lope wants me to stop being cynical. That is a promise I will not be able to hold... Uh, but I won't disturb him anymore. Okay, well, Temple Vassal opinion will lower. His opinion will lower. My intrigue will go up, though. It's just the way the the world spins. Uh, man, 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 come on. Let's see if there's anything else I can do up here. Um, um, Oh, you know what I did? I invited a noble to court, but I didn't look. Um, let's see. I didn't even think about it. Who's Luis? Luis is... No, 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 no. That wasn't the new one. Oops. Um, Nuno, commander of Leon. Uh, let's see. Let's see if anybody can be replaced. I mean, let's just, let's just check them all out. Let's see if this noble did anything good. It definitely didn't do anything for our intrigue. D definitely not there. Did I check the right column here? I think I did. Okay. Steward, 17. 6. Uh, Spymaster, 10. That's 8. And that's the next highest. And Court Chaplain is 14. Next highest is 13. Well, that's the way it is. Okay. Excuse me. Allergies are killing me. My, my, my liege. My mission to Placencia has so far been a success. Great. Great. Of Placencia. Where, where are we going? Okay, cool. Wait, why are we... Oh, gotcha. You're down here. Okay, so you don't hate me that much. Okay, good. So we, we've we've improved relations with uh, this Muslim power downstairs here because we don't want to go to war yet, and that might buy us a little bit of time. So uh, we definitely want to accumulate some wealth. We're going to need it. We're going to need it when we go to war. Garcia has arrived at your court. Okay, so this might be the new courtier. Let's take a look. He is very mediocre. Really not very good. He has some stats. Uh, meh. Meh. Okay. Um, Ramiro has arrived at your court. Oops. Monio Armigues has arrived at your court. 14 intrigue. Yes, please. Yep. Yep. Sorry. Sorry. I love you, wife. My friend. But Monio Courtier is going to Courtier and Leon is going to be our spy master. And um you've also arrived at our court. Well, wow, thirteen diplomacy, thirteen marshal. Nope, not good enough to take anyone's place. Okay, I should have checked that other person, but that's fine. We're good to go. We are ready to go. I'm going to speed it up even faster. What am I doing? Six speed or five speed? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, you're going so fast. Man, this war. Oh, wow. Abadid just took Galicia. My liege. Okay, same thing. 
Um, here's the deal. This, mm, this ain't gonna work out. Okay, at least you're at peace here. That's a bummer for uh, for my brother. If I'm honest. Okay, so let's see. I wonder if I, I can send an alliance. No, he doesn't like me very much. I think it is. Oh, loading, auto-saving. Auto-save is good, though. Let's go to brother. Let's take a look. What you got, man? What you got for me? Yeah, nothing really. He uh, doesn't like me very much. That's it. That's fine. Okay. Again, I'm sorry about the sniffing. I just took a, a Sudafed. I shouldn't be doing this. My wife would be yelling at me, but uh, for sniffing in. But uh, I'm just ready. Uh, okay, all right. Time to educate the child. We'll use our Ramiro, I believe, is who we're going to use, our courtier. Uh, some interesting theologian kind just... Yeah, I like this. I really like this guy. Hunter, yeah, for sure. Ramiro, courtier, and Leon, you are going to be... Press the wrong button. Uh, I'm going to send that, and then I'm going to go to grant a minor title. Actually, I'm going to take a look at my daughter's tutor. Let's see. He likes me enough. Let's go to uh, Keeper of the Swans, and we'll give the Keeper of the Swans to uh, this character that's watching my children, Ramiro. Cool. There we go. Keeper of the Swans. And I like that idea because he's uh, watching my daughter's. Or my daughter. A famous writer proposes to compose your family chronicles. Give him patronage. I will get proud, which is good for prestige. I also get humble, which is good for piety. Um, I will give him patronage. I will lose a little bit of gold. I will gain that prestige. I want prestige. And let's do it. In fact, I want to become a par Oh, I want piety. I want to become a paragon of virtue. I really need to start working on that. I, I mean, I don't need to work on it, but it's like, that's what I'm role-playing as, I guess. I don't know. He's kind of cynical, though, but he's generous. King Alfonso VI, if we're honest, like, let's be honest here. He's in a weird way. You know, he's in a weird way. Um, his son will probably be role-played a little bit differently. Uh, okay, Cardinal Leon of Chancellate was given a seat at the College of Cardinals. Where is Chancellate? Right there. Neat. How neat. Let's take a look at the dynasties. These are always things I enjoy looking at. Where are the... Here they are. Dynasties. Jimena, Hudid, Abadid, Abadid, Dunanid, Capet, De Normandy. Uh, ooh. Okay. Some stuff changing up in Ireland. Von Babenberg, Piest. All right, same good stuff as always. Diego is improving my relations. Let's take a look here at uh, this person. You'll like us even more? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Oh, let's uh, let's actually take my... Let's take a look at our cancel. Let's see our diplo... He can fabricate claims, and I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to fabricate claims against uh, this brother here. Uh, and I'm going to move my spy master over there to build a spy network here. Oops, my bad. Uh, build a spy network right there. Uh, and that should help me fabricate claims, I think. I think that will. Um, is it plot? No, it's plot power increase. I'm pretty sure this isn't a plot. So it probably will not. Nope, just the assassination. That's okay. It's about time I move into taking this territory. I need more territory. I'm kind of locked in. My brothers have both had heirs. The assassinations are just... They're not going to work out. Um, okay. Training soldiers. Excellent. That's what we need. Phenomenal. Basically what I'm doing in this game, you can't just go to war willy nilly. You need a reason. You need to be able to say, we're going to war because we believe we should own this, you know, this area. You know, you need a, a casus belly, a, a reason, a just cause to go to war. It doesn't have to be just, but a cause, a cause. Okay. So let's look at this plot that just appeared. Um, we got a couple. This guy is a bishop of Astorga, and he his opinion of me is low, so I'm okay with Fronilda killing him. Uh, I'm actually, let's see, I can... Uh, well, I, I wish I could help the plot. Nope. Uh, this one, Loba, she... Uh, I don't like her very much, but she, she likes me a little bit. I like him more. Who is she? She is 
The current... She's at court in Samoda. I don't understand why... Why he wants to kill her. But that's okay, I guess. Huh. Well, it'll be very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so um, we'll just we'll just do that. Because it's about time I really look into going to war with my brothers. Now, instead of this one, which you might expect, I'm going to look at this one who's been weakened by a lack of two provinces. And I'm going to choose uh, this side. I'm going to choose Castile's side. Move in, take some land while everyone else is at war, being distracted, and, uh, and we should be good to go. I'm going to wait for it to autosave. Uh, go here. And I am going to look further into my vassals. Everyone like me. Great. Mayor of Villapolino doesn't very much. Okay, a message about arranged marriage. <gasps> William the Conqueror is requesting that Sancha, my... Who is this? My courtier, Sancha, get married to Prince William of England. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. Let's form those lines. Now, I don't know if that's such a good idea because I might be bound to war in England. Let's see. Maybe I made a wrong decision. But that's absolutely a great call. I think that, you know, this has the potential to be a huge world power, obviously. Um, even though there's just a big mess going on in Britain, I just can't even. There's revolts, Scottish revolts, Norwegian revolts, uh, Norga. I think it's Norga or Naga. Is this Mumu? Is that how you pronounce that? Ligon? Uh, this is usually called Desmond, so I'm going to assume that's how you pronounce that still. Um, hmm. Unpause. Oop, I'm going to sneeze here pretty soon. Oh, God. <laughs> my body's like, oh, my gosh, it's September. Kill me. Take a look. Here. All right. Sancha de Leon died a natural death. This is my... Hold on one second. I have to sneeze again. I can't stop. I can't stop. Whew, my mother passed away. I forgot my mother was still alive. She died a natural death at 60. But speaking of natural deaths, let's just go ahead and take a look at the diseases. <laughs> um, oh, getting a little close to the mic there. Greece is being ravaged by consumption. The area near a rock. Huh. Very interesting. Let's see, where's... Jordan. I'm looking at the name of these cities. I want to see if there's one called Baghdad. Um, but for some reason, I, I'm not... I'm having trouble finding where it might be. It's entirely possible there is none. But I know... Well, hold on. This is the right place. Yeah, there's the Persian Gulf. There's that, uh, Iraq. It's a little bit north. Okay, well, you know what? We tried. That's fine. No problem. It doesn't really... It didn't really matter. I just get curious. Mohammed Abadid has founded the new a new sultanate in Spain and new rules... Sup now rules supreme over Abadid Sultanate. One more kingdom... All right, and he's become a sultan. Right here. That's interesting. I wonder how he did it. De jure duchies. Okay, he pulled out a de jure duchy. De jure kingdom, Portugal, Andalusia. It will be cool to take Galicia, because then I can make it a de jure kingdom. A new title, I can use that. And then be the king of Leon and Galicia. That'll be exciting. Pressing on pause. All right. Not too much uh, in terms of change. Croatia is having some issues. Uh, looks like war with... Um, oh, looks like Queen Neda of Croatia is invading... I guess her own land. Taking over some of her places, I suppose. Huh. Is there a regent? It's this guy. Duke Zvonimir of Slavonia. Very interesting person. Very interesting person. Count Oveco of Astorga has inherited the county of Astorga from Count Sancho of Astorga. Looks like Count Sancho died. Uh, looks like from severe stress. Well, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. He's a count. Count Oveco is now in charge over here. He likes me just fine. That's cool. 
I should go through and I should check all of the heirs. Sancha has left my court for the Kingdom of England. How cool. I should check all my heirs to see... Or all the vassals' heirs to see how much they like me. That way I can keep going being liked by my vassals, you know? Like, for instance, uh, this guy's looking old. Uh, his heir is Rodrigo Diaz. But, uh, yeah, this guy likes me. Plot power, uh, 67.8. Yeah, it's going down now. I don't know. I don't... <laughs> it's because I, I left my, uh, spy... I moved my spy master to Galicia, which is probably... That's just not smart. That's not what I should have done. I thought it would help, but it, it won't. So I'm just going to go back here and watch the plot power jump up to 74.8 and will never... Still never... It'll never work. I can hold a feast again. No, I'm going to wait till I have more money. I know that this seems like a lot of wealth. I am saving up, but there's going to be a big war to strike us here pretty soon, and I'm going to start losing troops, and I might even need to buy out of uh, mercenary pots, right? Buy mercenaries. Sorry for the microphone issues. Um, and, and the reason is because I just, I'm just not going to have as many troops as some of these powers. Uh, and my brothers aren't allied with me, so I might as well take Galicia so I have something else. My liege, okay. All right, we, okay, all right, everybody, we now have uh, a Cassus Belli against Corunia, my brother, who if I look at his dynasty tree, will be able to pull two th oh, just between two and 3,000 troops. Uh, if I look in my dynasty tree, I should see about, oops, about 4,000. Yep. Not almost 4,500 in terms of troops. So my Cassus Belly has worked. I am going to put a cut in here right now and then save the game and, uh, and start a new episode. And that way we will go to war with my brother in Galicia. We will hopefully take uh, the lands from him. Uh, it's, 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 a new, it's a new world for King Alfonso VI of Leon. New wife. His heir is being tutored. New goals and a new method to achieve those goals in strength of arms. Very excited to move into war with Galicia. Uh, I will catch you all later. Thank you so much for tuning in to Barker Plays Crusader Kings 2. See you next time.